Hey guys, and welcome back to Oz Mafia. Uh, so, still messing up my recording times, I somehow managed to actually record, if I estimated right, about four episodes worth in one night, and I only recorded about two videos, so I'm having to break these up so that they're more manageable for both you guys and YouTube, so here we go! Oh, it's evening already! Mr. Karmia said we'd be having dinner soon, so we're running on day cycles. Maybe I'll walk around town a little bit. Do I still get an evening action? Oh, here comes Caesar. She walked down the street, admiring how the setting sun dyed the scene a vibrant orange, even as she kept one eye on where she'd come from. Eventually, the, red, the road of red brick ended in a big plaza. I see what you did there, game. Very narrowly avoided using the yellow brick road. It was filled with people, just relaxing and, and enjoying themselves. What a lovely signorina you are. Shopkeep. I have some delicious bread. Interested? I don't know whether or not to trust you. You have a portrait, but you also have soulless eyes. She turned around to see a friendly young man carrying a box. Oh, no, I... Oh. Haha, <laughs> your stomach started growling right on cue. I'll give you a free sample. How about it? A sample. But I'm sure Mr. Karamia and the others are preparing dinner for me. Thank you, but I'll have to pass. That's okay. Well, next time then. He bowed and then ran off. Ah, he really startled me. I never thought someone would try to talk to me. Oh, there you go. Ah, back to voice lines. I can stop narrating now. Way too close. Yes. The young man held out his hand. She took it and they got up together. So you remember what I said earlier about the whole Shoda thing? Yeah. No, I'm fine. Or anyone in general. You know, let's, let's not discriminate here. Well, that, yeah. Boy, that joke got old fast. <laughs> also, again, I'm really sorry to anyone who has to hear anything that's particularly unpleasant. Um... Normally, these sounds of me breathing and trying not to suffocate in my own snot is not, you know, this bad, but at the moment, I'm... I'm struggling. I, I will admit, I am fully struggling right now. It's <laughs> because I'm an alien! It's only natural that you wouldn't be familiar with me. I just recently... Is it a good idea to tell him the truth? I moved here recently? Why wouldn't it be? Oh, he's gonna be Pinocchio, isn't he? Huh? Or I'm just a shit liar. Either or. Huh? Really? I'm sorry. <laughs>怒ってないからそんな顔しないで嘘をついたってことはそれなりの事情があるってことだよね。Not really. No, I don't know why I lied. Yes, I don't remember anything from before I came here. Yes, when I came to, I was lying in an alley, and a man named Caesar was chasing me. Right now, Familia Oz is taking care of me. Am I? Is she? I mean, I know her circumstances are really weird, but am I just desen like desensitized by all this shoujo shit that I have experienced in my life to not think this is the weirdest situation I've ever heard of? I mean, if you think about fucking Aaron Yeager, yeah, I mean, by comparison, this is pretty normal. Mm. I mean, he's got a point. 
I lied about it for no fucking reason, and now I'm telling him everything. You know, just saying. That is... Yeah, you know, I'm just gonna go. I'll be more careful from now on. Yep, I, yeah, yeah. This back and forth between the voicing shit over and not voicing it over is throwing me off a little bit. Though maybe that's weird for someone you've only just met to say. But I think you're a good person, Mr. So. Really? You really, really think that about me? Yes, you've been so kind and you're looking up for me. Now we're acquaintances. Maybe it's a good thing that I ran into you. Aha, maybe it was. <laughs> Why? I should go home too. Goodbye, Mr. So. He gave her an enthusiastic nod and turned to leave Oz territory. However, he turned back around as if he'd just remembered something. Ah, so that. Too close. Then, what should I call you? I understand. Okay. Meaning if I want to see him, I gotta come down to town every Sunday. Yeah, I will. If I want to go the shorter route. Okay, buddy, don't get too far ahead of yourself. Okay, so Lion, Tin Man, Scarecrow. Yeah, I don't know. I want to say Axel the Scarecrow. Monday morning, the estate was busier than it had been the day before. Faki passed the by the men heading up for the day as she made her way to the kitchen for breakfast. I still haven't seen her wash her face once. Good morning, she said softly to the empty room as she got herself some bread and milk. Oh god, she's talking to herself. Taking a seat in the same chair she had the previous day, she started eating by herself. Yesterday was a day of peace, which means that now there might be fights between the familia until next Sunday. When I meet Mr. Carmia, when I, oh, sorry. <coughs> when I met Mr. Carmia and the others, I did see a bunch of people with weapons. I wonder if they actually use them. Nah, nah, nah. They just carry them around for fun. Mr. Carmia. She looked up and shifted slightly to face him. It seemed he had come for breakfast as well. We call this the oblivious heroin symptom. Carmia gently touched Faki's shoulders before going over to the sink. He plucked an orange from a basket of fruit and rinsed it off before taking a plate and knife out of the cabinet. We're back into the really weirdly descriptive scenarios again. I'm sorry, I just made myself at home. He took a seat next to her, orange and plate in hand. As he cut into the fruit skin, a citrusy scent filled the room. I'm having issues. My commentary is slowly degrading. Good morning, Mr. Axel. Axel glanced at Faki, but that was it. Oh, the gooey exterior has started to unravel. Sir sleeps a lot. Mm. I do not sleep a lot. <laughs> Carmia tossed the still unpeeled orange at Axel. As he caught it, a few errant droplets of water splashed against his cheek. Children, please. Chil children. Axel wiped the water off his face with the back of his hand as he returns returned the orange to the fruit basket. Crossing his arms, he leaned against the wall. He already cut into that. Which means it's now exposed to the like the enzymes are exposed to the air, which means it's beginning to oxidize. You pick that fruit back up, sir. When are you heading out? When I finish eating. Which is going to be a long time, because you just put back the only food that you were cutting up. 
into the fucking fruit basket. It's family breakfast. He passed by both Haki and Carmi and set his hand on the back of the furthest chair away from them. Oh my god. You are literally the biggest child. A little closer. <laughs> Axel took a single step, a single step, over only to pull out the second furthest seat away. Improvements by leaps and bounds. <laughs> you are literally having to command this guy to sit closer. You should just say, like, literally, sit in the chair next to us and cut out the middleman. Carmia tapped the table in front of him. I have heard that chair sound three times now. Axel let out a big sigh and sat down directly across from Karamiya, diagonal to Faki. It's because I'm going to lick to his gooey center. <laughs><笑>せっかくの共同生活だ。楽しく行こうぜ。Axel gave Faki a sideways glance that lasted less than a single second. Less. A fifth of a second, maybe. <sighs> oh, it's too late. He knows. He knows. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> it, it's fine. Like I said, Kudere. I know. I know. He's right. You don't know anything about me. I understand how Mr. Axel feels. Oh, that's another lick to the center. Some people, not naming names. <laughs> Axel rested his elbows on the table and gazed determinedly at the wall. Mr. Karamiya, um... You literally have a four-year-old for a third. Not going to get eaten! <laughs> okay, so the way it's telling me right now that okay, so that it would be the option that gets me towards Axel. This puts me towards Kyrie. And this puts me towards him. Let's see, do I want to keep going for the center? Or do I want... Because this guy's been super ass nice to me. And that's pretty bold, actually. What if only you showed me around as a pretty bold statement to make? Pretty dang obvious. So you know what, I'm gonna go for That Sounds Wonderful. Ah, Axel. <laughs> the most sullen. Just like, fine. Mr. Axel doesn't seem very enthusiastic about this. Just as the thought occurred to her, her eyes met Axel's. Maybe the Tin Man. Lacking a brain? Uh, uh, is that true, Minabi? Oops. Huh? Again with the extreme lo leaps in logic. How did that get into this? It, I, I mean, like, you know, okay, it, that might be true, but you could have just said, if the Dawn ordered me to jump off a cliff, I would do it. That would make a lot less, you know, weird, awkward atmosphere. Yep. Paki gave a vague response, unable to discern Axel's intent. Jeremy leaned against the back of his chair and smiled as he watched their exchange. You sadist. Oh dear. Okay. Red brick. All of this... Faki stopped in the middle of the street and looked over her surroundings. The street was bustling, and the faces of the people coming and going were cheerful. There were no armed men to be seen anywhere. The atmosphere didn't feel very different from Sundays at all. Karamiya got closer as she returned the greetings of the townspeople. 
I expected it to be scarier, like a fight could break out at any moment. It's much more relaxed and peaceful than I'd imagined. I think it's wonderful. <laughs> so okay. He gave a boyish smile and patted her on the head.俺たちはドンパチしたくて銃を握ってるわけじゃないからな。よその奴らから領地を守ったり、喧嘩の仲裁をするのが俺たちの主な仕事だ。テリトリー内にいれば、そうそう構想に巻き込まれることはない。安心
ここから見える赤いレンガ道を歩いて帰ればいいだけだからな。簡単だろ ?It is? Why do they keep seeing red? 町の中心部にあたるこの広場は、どのファミリーも支配していない共有スペースなんだ。他の領地へ赴く場合は、なるべくここを通った方がいい。人目につきやすいから、やましいことはしませんよって証明になる。Have you ever been to the other familiar's areas? areas? I didn't know you were going to get a knock at the work as an icon. Kaimon of Stari, Hanasio Shini Tari. Ma, Orega Demukoto, I met that in Icona. Tosen this. Another good book. You do it to Kangaremus. Boss of the Sonotenga Fuben Diana. Hey, Diva, Okina Rakno Jo Motesa. そこのチーズが飛びきりうまいんだよな。The stereotype grows. そうだ。今度アクセルに買ってもらおう。どうして僕が。Oops, sorry. ボス、あれを。Is it the wolf? Is it Toto? よ、赤いの。The person Axel had spotted the crowd was Scarlet. The c a p o r g i b a b e Oh, lordy. A familia grim. This is going to be terrible. <laughs> Ugh. Scarlet's red mantle fluttered as Karamiya spoke. Oh god, he is terribly cute. Oh god, he is terribly cute. Hello, Scarlet. Scarlet glanced at Faki before looking up at Karamiya. Now I'm going to tell you. That's right. Scarlet looked at Faki again. Okay, Kato.、Uh, of course. Scarlet gave them each a small nod before turning to leave. The rifle on Scarlet's back swayed a bit with each step. Scarlet's pretty scary. Sure, for like someone who's 5'4. Yeah, right, that's nothing. Scarlet to a grim family in Nakadewa on Kenhada. Ftagono Hoga. Well, color me surprised. Ah, Henzer to greater a tenure when I took in Arishna. I tell no sword on Maki Comarena yo, Kyotsuke de Greo. I will. Will they be a bad end? Suddenly, Faki realized Axel had been staring at her. What's wrong, Mr. Axel? Oz no territory in I need a hand in the Ah, he's worried. Aunt in the car. Obiel is you and I to eat the end. Okay, Orega, oh my, oh, 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 my, Tootsie Pop! Oh, that's what they're called. The Tootsie Pop, I think. Was it a Tootsie Pop? Oh, God, this is gonna drive me nuts. What the fuck are they called? Yochi no Annai was then Kandio Shimashita. Sujo Nim and Motorimas. Hang on, I'm gonna go Google this. Yeah, I was right. It was, I think it's a Tootsie Pop. Anyways. <laughs> That was a productive use of my time. Mr. Axel. I do. How's it going to be? I'm going to go to the next one. So, I'm going to go to the next one. 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 Should I keep going with Pachette? Usually for dating sim games or visual novels, you have to go all the way with one to get anything. Or... Actually, do I have a... Do I have stats? Individual voice settings... Tell you what, I'm gonna save. And actually, I am going to... Call this for now because I think I'm also over my time again. So,、um, yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode, and I hope you all have an excellent day.